Hello guys and welcome to my December Project Wax. So today's video is going to be an update to my rolling project pan where I tried to finish off my candle collection. So last time I updated you guys was in November and I do have some items I'm going to take out because I'm no longer burning anything fall-like anymore and I'm going full-blown Christmas so I'm adding in I think how many candles? Six? <laughs> I'm adding in six candles. So it's going to be a really fun update. I also have some um, progress on a few candles as well. So let's get started. So the first one that I finished is Gingerbread Milkshake from Goose Creek. I loved this packaging. It was so cute. This one, I have to say, got kind of murky near the end and started to smell pretty cloying. Um, but it did actually smell pretty good. Last year, I thought this was a bad candle, but I actually liked it this year. Um, I burned it in my kitchen, like in the mornings, and it was just a nice, like, caramely, spicy scent. So it was nice. I definitely enjoyed it. So that's the only empty. Now I do have the two full candles that I'm going to pull out. Um, I actually never burned white pumpkin this entire fall season, so I have no progress on it. Um, I think next year I'm definitely going to try to either start burning fall earlier or buy less fall candles. Um, I think I did a good job. I only have like four candles going into next year that are fall. So I think I did pretty good kind of trying to finish off what I had. And then Harvest Gathering, I did use a little bit more. So I have some progress from here to here. I love this candle for Thanksgiving. It's like the perfect scent. So I definitely used it a few times like during the week of Thanksgiving before and after and I loved it. So I'm gonna take those two out though and keep them for next fall. And then I have these two right here to update you on. Actually, these three. First, we have Peppermint Sugar Cookie. This is last year's packaging. One of my absolute favorites for just every single winter. This one is Crushed Peppermint Vanilla Extract Creamy Butter and Soft Sugar Cookies. You can see at the bottom here, it's starting to like collect some oil. So it's getting to where I need to finish it up, which is great because I am. So I've used it from here to here in the last month. I love this. I burn this pretty much every single night in the bedroom just to like wind down and it smells so good. It permeates through the bedroom and into the living room and the kitchen, which is not hard because I'm in a two bedroom apartment, but still this one is so good. So I'm loving that. And another one I'm loving at nighttime is cinnamon spice vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. You guys, I thought I was not gonna like this one, but it's so, so good. We've been burning it every single night. Since I put the tree up at like the end of November, we burn this every single night. Ryan even lights it up without me because he loves it. So it, it went from here to here in the last month. It's so good. It's decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, and vanilla bean. It just smells like, honestly, on burning, I don't get a lot of spice. It just smells like hot cocoa and cream. So it smells great. I'm loving it. It'll definitely be finished in the next month. And then we have blueberry cheesecake, which I actually did burn the other night. So I have a little bit of progress on it. It's so good. It's so good. So when I kind of want something fruity, I'll put this one in. I'm not going to take it out of the project because I'm still enjoying it. So there's that one. And then mahogany vanilla. I have burned a couple times from here to here. Every now and then I'll light this one up in the bedroom or the bathroom and I like it. It's a really great like get rid of any kind of smell scent and it's also just a nice like relaxing scent so I'm keeping this one in. Okay, now all these other ones are gonna be new to the project. So I've actually got two from Groose Creek from last year and that is gingerbread donut and hot cocoa and peppermint. So gingerbread donut I've already been burning in the kitchen as like a replacement to gingerbread milkshake. And we are right about here. I've probably burned it a few times. I actually like it. It's super, super spicy with like a cinnamon sugar coating almost. It smells really good. It's a little cloying and a little like hefty, <laughs> like burning it in the kitchen. It's very strong, but I like it. I'm enjoying it a lot, especially because it's actually been cold here. So I'm, I'm really liking this one. And I don't have scent notes because Goose Creek doesn't put it on the bottom, but I think it was like a cinnamon sugar fried dough. And then we've got hot cocoa and peppermint, which this is really easy to tell what the scent notes are. This one is actually almost halfway done. Um, we are right about here on the packaging. So I've done great on this one. Um, I think I've burned this a few times in the last couple of weeks, just whenever I felt like I wanted something like hot cocoa and cream and peppermint sugar cookie like mixed together. That's what this is basically. But this is much more artificial than Bath and Body Works hot cocoa scent. This is like a very like fake cocoa powder scent. 
like what I would imagine comparing like Ghirardelli hot cocoa mix to like the Swiss Miss sugar-free one that you'd get from like Dollar Tree, not like, not just regular Swiss Miss because I love Swiss Miss, but like, like the really bad <laughs> cheapy hot cocoa or like hot cocoa that you get at like the football games and they make it with water and it's so gross and watered down and just like barely chocolatey. That's like kind of what this one is. So it's not the best scent, but I'm gonna get through it. I'm so happy with these two. These were two Candle Day releases and I've been burning the crap out of them. They are turning into my new favorites. So we have Brioche French Toast and Caramel Frappuccino. So Brioche French Toast is fluffy brioche toast, rich maple syrup, and a dollop of butter sprinkled with cinnamon. I didn't see that last part. I definitely don't get cinnamon in this. It's basically pumpkin pecan waffles, but with a little more like powdered sugar. So yeah, this one smells amazing. It's very maple syrupy. Um, I love it a lot. It's got these huge mushroom tips. Both of those candles have this, um, but I'm loving this. It's so good. Any time of day, any time of day, it's good. So it is right here. I probably burned it like twice maybe. Um, and I'm gonna keep using it because I'm loving it. And then I'm gonna put in caramel frappuccino as well. This one is rich cold brew coffee, frothy milk, and sweet caramel syrup blended with ice. They like to say blended with ice. That's not a scent note. Okay, everybody says this is not white caramel cold brew from that Seattle candle, but it is, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, on cold, it smells like it might be different. Like it smells like that caramel cold brew white caramel cold brew, but with like a splash of milk and like maybe less caramely on cold. But when you burn it, it's white caramel cold brew. It's the exact same thing. It's way more caramely than it ever is coffee-y. <laughs> so it's like super sweet, very, very, very sweet. But I love it. I love it. It's so yummy. It's like the perfect morning scent and I'm already down to here. Yeah, I've been burning it a lot, so. I'm loving this one. I, I'm so happy. Okay, the last two. I am putting in Champagne Toast. This is from that box collection that came out last year, I think for Candle Day or Body Care Day. I got the box collection. And I like took different pieces and gifted it to people, but I kept the Champagne Toast candle for myself. This one is Bubbly Champagne, Sparkling Berries, and Sweet Orange. I love Champagne Toast. This time of year is the perfect time to break it out. I just know that this is gonna last me to January and February because this is my favorite Valentine's Day scent. Oh, it's so good. So this is gonna be like my break from winter, you know, uh, peppermint, hot cocoa, those kind of scents. It's gonna be like my break. I need something to give me a break if I'm not feeling it. So that champagne toast is unused. And then we have Twisted Peppermint here in the single wick. This one I just picked up, I had like a free single wick coupon. This is cool peppermint, sugared snow, fresh balsam, vanilla buttercream, and a hint of musk. It's really just vanilla peppermint. That's all I get from this. Ooh, that just cleared my nose up. It is right here because I have burned it a little bit and I need to work on burning it for longer because I've started to make it tunnel. But I burn this pretty much only in the bathroom, mostly in the mornings when I'm getting ready um, or just whenever I remember to light it up but I really like this one. I think I almost like it more because it's pink than the scent. I love Twisted Peppermint, but like, I just think it's so cute. And when I'm getting ready in the morning and having this going, it just makes me feel so girly and adorable. So I'm loving this one. I'm definitely gonna keep it in for um, January and February, probably too, just finishing off the winter strong. So those are the 10 candles that I'm gonna be working on, um, probably for most of, December and January, and then I'll kind of switch it up a little bit going into February with some fruity scents as long as I'm like getting through some of these. So yeah, that's everything for my project wax update for the month of December. Let me know down below what's your favorite Christmas candle that you're burning right now. Let me know. Mine's definitely these two guys right here. They're just really scratching that Christmas elf hot cocoa peppermint itch that I have and it's wonderful. So that's everything for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.